Well, while that drama was playing out on the streets of Alexandra, there were angry words at the inquiry in the situation in Alexandra today. The Human Rights Commission and the Public Protector's Office are investigating the situation there, and coming up for discussion is the Alexandra Renewal Project. In the weeks before this year's elections, there were angry protests in Alex. People protested against illegal dwellings. That led to claims that protests were politicized. Today, the Gauteng Human Settlements MEC at Lebohang Maile appeared to, appeared to come close to losing his temper when he was asked questions by the Human Rights Rights Commission. Uh, SABC reporter Maha Ketla Mokhlabe was there for us. He's here now. Maha Ketla, good evening to you. All right. Uh, set the scene for me. What, what created the situation? What led to these angry words being exchanged? Obviously, I have to mention uh, that, Stephen, it was expected that uh, uh, Lebohan Maile would expect uh, a barrage of questions uh, from both uh, these uh, Chapter 9 institutions, that is the Human Rights Commission as well as the Public Protector's Office. Obviously, uh, the question that really uh, triggered all the this emotional uh, scene today was when he was asked about how he basically takes responsibility, more especially when it comes to the engagement uh, between himself as well as the residents of Alexandra as well as the city of Johannesburg because according to the chairperson uh, whom uh, he was actually engaged in this war of ways uh, today, uh, Buang Jones, he says that in as much as we can expect or we should expect uh, the city of Johannesburg uh, to take responsibility when it comes to these issues of service delivery, I mean, the MEC or his department, that's the human settlements, should also play a role there. And of course, uh, this is actually how it all unfolded uh, today. You should be taking keen interest on this aspect as the MEC oversee. Uh, uh, and monitor, monitoring uh, uh, service delivery municipalities. If you want to engage me about the work I'm doing, working with the municipalities, no problem. Uh, uh, so you can't be saying I'm not taking keen interest in this. It's a sweeping statement and uninformed. Section 112 of the Constitution is also very clear that you are supposed to support the dignity of Chapter 9 institutions, and your last statements are not in keeping with that in respecting the dignity of this process. So could you kindly retract the last statements that you made? No, 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 no. You see, don't do that. No? Don't do that. Because what you have quoted, by the way, it's not even relevant to what... I don't know how the guy misbehave, interpret, improper. You simply disagree with what I'm saying. I'm saying what you are saying is misinformed. How is that disrespectful? It's not going to work. It's either you ask questions and I'm answering your questions. We don't agree, it's fine. For instance, you are forcing me to say I have doubt. No. What is that thing? Don't treat me like a small boy. Don't do that. Because Human Rights Commission, Human Rights Commission is not God. It's a chapter nine institution that is subjected to the constitution. Wow, Mark Kettler. Okay, so you weren't kidding. Temperatures, te temperatures rising there. Well, it looks like this is uh, quite a losing battle. Uh, and I have to mention that, I mean, he uh, went on to say that um, he feels that uh, in as much as this uh, Human Rights Commission are uh, actually mentioning why uh, he's actually there in terms of giving evidence, uh, he feels like uh, he, they are trying to intimidate him. And he says that, well, you, you may have to think again. I'm not going to be easily intimidated by you. And uh, he says that, uh, he also said that if uh, it needs be, if you want to go to court, let it be. So we may as well meet in court. So. But of course, this is on the back of a lot of questions regarding the Alex Renewal Project. Remember, today, basically, that was at the center uh, of this inquiry. And of course, he faced a lot of questions from both uh, the institutions today. Right. And I mean, on that, I mean, we mustn't forget, and there's a context here. It's a familial context, in fact, yeah. which is quite rare, is that it was Lebo Khang Maile's brother, the MEC's brother, Mike Maile, who was in charge of the, of, the, of, the, mm -hmm. of the project, I think 2002, 2003, I think that was. And both have denied wrongdoing. Uh, his brother, of course, he was uh, the project manager back then, and of course he uh, faced a question from uh, the same guy, Juan Jones, the chairperson uh, of the uh, inquiry. He actually asked him if he knows um, about his wrongdoing in this particular uh, 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 in this particular project, and what he told uh, the inquiry is that. Uh, 
Well, he's not a twin brother to Mike Maile. So uh, in any engagements that he was involved in this project, he wouldn't know. Uh, so it's better for this inquiry to call him and answer for himself. And uh, so basically he's there uh, before them uh, to answer what he knows. So if really they want to know more about uh, the engagements uh, that his brother had in this particular uh, project, they really should call him. And of course, uh, they kept on pressing him with question uh, that was uh, by, uh, by the um, public protector's office, uh, of I mean, he's the senior investigator there, and he asked the question, I mean, can we just explain what this particular project did uh, because of course uh, there were a lot of money uh, in that particular project but it looks like little has been delivered and of course he said that well I don't have all these answers I think the provincial uh, treasurer, treasurer uh, should actually uh, come forth to give you all the answers all well, what I can tell you is that yes over 1.3 billion rent uh, was spent um, of course on schools on bridges in Alexandra uh, roads had to be uh, extended and all those kind of, uh, of, of stuff that he was, he was trying to uh, justify before the Commission but it's actually seem to have left the, uh, the commission uh, un uh, unimpressed. And very quickly, they're back tomorrow. We're not going to see the MEC back tomorrow by the looks of it. No, of course. Uh, what we expect is for him to actually continue uh, submitting uh, his statements, perhaps through uh, writing. Of course, tomorrow we are expecting uh, Cocta uh, to take the stand. And of course, uh, you would probably expect them to expand on the work uh, by the interministerial uh, committee that was appointed by the president to look into these issues uh, that have long affected uh, residents of Alexandra. Marco Kettler, thank you very much indeed. Do appreciate it. Marco Kettler Moklabe uh, with that. And of course, uh, someone w watching that story very, very closely indeed.